Hello everyone, Chris from Harmony Turbines here. I wanted to give you an update on where we are tonight and where we've been the past couple days with developing and working on the new scoop designs for Harmony and just kind of give you some really nice things to look at and see what the investment dollars are starting to go to. Even though we haven't even taken our first round of money out of the campaign, we're already beginning to do work ahead of time because we see where the numbers are landing, we see what kind of funding we already have coming in. So we have already begun the work on the new three foot diameter all metal scoops and you're looking at it right now on screen. These are basically 6061 aluminum, so they're very high grade aluminum that will be able to stand up to the storms and the bad weather that we need to use for our advantage to gather the data in what I would consider high wind conditions. So these scoops are going to be fully welded on all of their seams and it's going to allow us to gather the data that we need during what we would have in Pennsylvania as bad weather or high wind conditions might be regular wind conditions for you. You might have 20 or 30 mile an hour winds on average in your area where we in Pennsylvania don't have wind that wonderful for wind uh, power generation, but it's okay. We can gather the data that we need from the thunderstorms and the bad weather situations and then do the projections from there. But what that means is we've got to build our prototype sturdy enough that it can stand up to this. So you're looking at these scoops and the pictures that you're seeing. Um, this scoop is going to be the one that you're seeing in the pictures right now, just a display model. It's only for taking to places and putting it on display. We'll probably paint it a nice a light color, maybe not white, but maybe a light gray or something. And then we're going to put the Harmony Turbines logo onto that scoop, maybe on the back side of it as well as on the top of it, just to show it off and let people see it, touch it, feel it, see how sturdy and strong it is. Once we lock in on the CAD and the CAM routines that built this scoop and we know that we have everything worked out correctly, we'll use those patterns to cut out all 10 of the scoops that are going on to the actual prototype. So it's important that we make it strong. It's important that we make it durable because we're going to need to capture the data for this uh, turbine's performance in the middle of bad weather situations when people don't want to be outside, you know, in the middle of a thunder and lightning storm. We don't want to be out standing next to a, a metal wind turbine, but we can be inside where it's safe, gathering that data from the wind turbine because the Arduino or Raspberry Pi onboard computer will be able to send back that information to us. It'll be able to control the furling state of harmony and give us some really cool data on performance and power output in these given wind speeds and then correlate that to um, set furling states as well. So I want to start playing with the different furling states and see if we get better production by changing the furling state in certain wind speeds. At any rate, it's all going to be amazing to start seeing this data come in, but the first step is, of course, getting the new prototype built. And to do that, we need to make it out of strong materials and do the analysis on our design well enough that we can withstand pretty much anything Mother Nature can throw at it here in the Pennsylvania area. Um, we are currently in our WeFunder campaign at about $60,000 with investments right now as of the time that I'm recording this, so that's awesome. $60,000 right now is amazing after just one week of being public in our fundraising campaign, so big shout out to everyone for that. Thank you. And I guess if there's one thing I could ask, it would be that maybe each of us go out and talk to one or two other potential investors this coming week. If everyone would, we have 96 investors right now as of today, and if everyone just went out and talked to one other potential investor or maybe two, I think we could easily hit $100,000 by next week. It's just a matter of getting the word out and letting people know where we're at with things and letting them understand the good work and the good development that we're doing to get our wind turbines out there in the public so that they can be a low cost, 
affordable option that gives you a good, strong return on investment in just a couple years. That's what we're after. We want to put a product in your hands that gives you a good, solid choice that you can be happy about purchasing, that you can be happy about buying and putting on your home because you're getting good production and return on your initial investment with um, money that you're saving on your electric bill each month. You know, right now, when you look at it, there's only two options out there in the market. There's really, really low cost, horrible little units that you can put together yourself and you can buy them at Walmart and Kmart and other um, similar stores, Costco and things like that. But they're, they're really not what I would consider in the serious or professional residential size um, wind turbine range. For you to get into the, the more high-end residential turbines, you're going to have to spend upwards of $60,000 right now on the market. And that'll you know be erecting an 80-foot tall scaffolding that your turbine has to go up on top of and maybe, um, maybe 30 years later after this investment, you'll finally have your money back. But it's, it's sort of pathetic that the only two options on the market today are these really low-end turbines on the one end of the spectrum and then the really, really high-end turbines that are crazy, crazy expensive. We're looking to fill that gap in the middle and finally be the first wind turbine that makes sense for people to buy on their home because it's the right cost, it's the right return on their investment, and it looks beautiful. It doesn't make noise, it's not gonna be harmful to you or animals or anything, and it's just gonna finally be like the right choice for wind power generation on your home. If you think of cell phones, think of cell phones 30 years ago. Okay, they had huge bag phones and big, huge, crazy mobile phones back then, but they didn't make sense. Nobody had one because these things were absolutely ridiculous back 30 years ago when they first came out. It wasn't until uh, Motorola or whoever it was came out with the first really uh, small size unit that finally made sense to be able to put it in your pocket and take it with you. And the little antenna came out and you could talk on it and everything. And it just, it was the first one that finally made sense to take that cell phone with you then it was like the floodgates open and everyone had one. That's what we're looking to do with wind turbines. We're looking to finally have the first residential turbine that makes sense. It's not a silly little toy and it's not a $60,000 behemoth that's never gonna get your money back. Um, we're looking to finally have something that makes sense and give you a good return on your investment. And that's what Harmony Turbines is all about. It's about making sense for the average homeowner. So that's about everything. Just wanted to let you know where we're at with all of our work that we're doing on the back end in the midst of our fundraising campaign. And thank you to everyone who is supporting us and working to spread the word. If we can just get a little bit more of um, each of you talking to some other investors, I think we'll be able to hit $100,000 by the end of next week. We'll see how close we come to that goal. Thank you. Thank you for believing in us and for believing in Harmony Turbines and everything that we're all doing to help make this world and our planet a better place. All right, guys, have a good night. Harmony Turbines. We now have the power to change the world.